the pit bull brutally attacked another stray dog and horror ensued in the middle of the city. They tried everything. Kicks, blows, buckets of cold water, and the useless intervention of the police. Nothing worked. Pit bulls can exert a force of 500 kilograms per square centimeter with their jaws, and many times stopping the pressure is not up to them. In the midst of desperation, a driver tried to help by spraying pepper spray, a chemical that would neutralize even the strongest human. But with the pit bull, it was all in vain. An officer also dared to pull him by the tail, while the rest of the bystanders exhausted their futile efforts. However, the unbelievable happened when another police officer showed up with a taser. Although extremely useful in criminals, the taser wasn't enough to rattle the out-of-control dog. The problem? The adrenaline. Despite the horror, neither the onlookers nor the police gave up, finally achieving what no one thought possible. After a few nightmarish minutes, a brave woman took advantage of a second when the dog gave way to free his victim. She reacted quickly to grab the assaulted dog by the feet and remove him from the scene. And even though they tried to help him, the dog just wanted to get away. The case was chaotic, but it also showed the courage of humans who, without knowing how to proceed in a situation like this, wanted to help an animal in danger. Now, what should you do in cases like this? One of the most common ways of reacting when two dogs confront each other is to hit and yell at them, but that is a mistake, as it only encourages their defense mechanisms even more. This is because the heightened levels of adrenaline in the animal protect it from feeling pain so the blows and screams only translate into a threat. Porque está siendo víctima de un ataque al mismo tiempo. Entonces cualquier animal eh, siendo víctima de un ataque va a reaccionar eh, atacando de vuelta. Pese a que acá se ve una buena intención de las personas intentando separar al perro para poder salvar al perro más débil, las maniobras obviamente lo ideal es que todos estemos educados en cuáles sean para no hacer contraproducente la situación. That is why different techniques should be applied. For example, Y lo que hacemos es, se le pone en la boca, se le levanta el labio y se le pone en la boca por detrás de las muelas, donde solo hay encía, pues se mete el palo por ahí y se hace palanca. If this technique doesn't work, you can also use a choking tactic. Pondremos el cinturón como si fuera un, un collar de ahorque, lo pondremos así y tiraremos fuertemente. Esto lo que hará será eh, cortar la respiración del perro y por tanto el perro se verá obligado a soltar. This teaches us the importance of informing ourselves about the different breeds and the different maneuvers to perform in case of any unforeseen event, since we never know when they'll be necessary to save the life of another living being.